Hello, Ken Alston here. I'm known today as the trusted authority on the implementation of corporate sustainability. I've been fortunate to work with dozens of small, medium and large businesses over my career. And I was one of the first people to ever put the word sustainable in my job title way back 30 years ago in 1992. Today, I work with business organizations like trade associations, chambers of commerce, as well as with individual businesses. My clients usually have a good understanding of the traditional, conventional, sustainable development concept and have often developed some sustainability goals and may already have some projects underway. They're excited to include the important values of sustainability alongside the usual financial goals and objectives of a company. They realize that today, corporate responsibility and dealing with sustainability as an important part of the societal license to operate a business. It's required, not just nice to have. My clients are diligently looking at their business and making progress in reducing negative impacts in their business activities that may result. But at the same time, they're beginning to hit the wall of what I call eco-efficiency. Reducing, avoiding, and minimizing negative impacts is a good thing to do, but over time, companies come to realize that it's insufficient to the goal of sustainability with current business models and perpetual sales growth targets. They're beginning to realize that there's something important missing, and without it, they won't achieve their ultimate sustainability goals. But they don't know yet exactly what's missing, and that's where I come in. I had a, the same realization myself after working hard on corporate sustainabilities in the early days. Back then, I was working for the US-based fast-moving consumer goods company, SC Johnson, Johnson's Wax. After about 13 years working in Europe in a variety of manufacturing, research and development, and marketing roles, I was invited to come to the United States corporate headquarters to help manage a new corporate sustainability group. Back then, corporate sustainability was in its infancy, and it was an exciting time to be able to explore the issues, the opportunities, and to meet with global thought leaders at the time. As Director of Sustainable Product Innovation worldwide, it was my job to help define new corporate sustainability goals, to help energize the company's activities to meet the goals, and to report on progress. As one of the early leaders in what became the World Business Council on Sustainable Development, and as a member of President Clinton's Council on Sustainable Development, we helped to start what has become an integral and important part of the values of many businesses worldwide. Although we were recognized for our leadership with the award of the World Environment Center's Gold Medal for Excellence with our early sustainability programs, over time, I could see that the pace of progress was slowing and that ultimately what we were doing would not lead to sustainability in its fullest definition. Today, it's the same for every company. If you're working on sustainability in your company, I'm sure you're putting your full effort in, as I was, to moving your organization forward, to be a better steward of the environment, to be more socially aware, and to be responsible to continue to provide economic value for shareholders and other stakeholders. And when you look at all the good things that are being done, they're worthwhile and they're important contributions, but fundamentally, they're still likely to be insufficient to deal with the enormous challenges and complexities of sustainability writ large. Now, the second half of my career has been as a consultant working on corporate sustainability and also leading in the dissemination and implementation of new concepts, such as cradle to cradle design and what's now known as the circular economy. The concept of the circular economy, much like the concept of sustainable development, is simple enough. That's because concepts are designed to be simple and to catch your attention, give you a paradigm shift and a new perspective. But the simplicity of concepts avoids the complexity of the real world the complexity of global supply chains and the interconnectedness of everything. Now, after 35 years of sustainable development, we're arguably less sustainable today than we were when the definition was first coined back in 1987. Now, anyone can teach you a concept, but few have the insights, experience, 
processes and tools to implement the changes that are needed today, if in the end we're to make progress on sustainable development. In addition to continuing to raise the awareness of these issues and pointing out the inadequacies of most current approaches, as I'm doing now in this video, I'm increasingly working with companies and business organizations to change behaviors, to change the business models on which commerce relies, to change the relationship between my clients and their customers, to change the distribution channels that businesses use one with another. And all this with the intention of creating a more sustainably circular economy that saves money, makes money, at the same time contributes positively to societal, environmental and economic interests. It's painful to be working hard on sustainability inside a company with great intentions, and yet you can see that all your best efforts are barely making a dent in the problems. It doesn't have to be that way. The prevailing unsustainability question has to be reframed before you can see the new hidden problem that's the real underlying cause. And after reframing the problem, you need new tools, new ways of connecting businesses, new ways of connecting and reconnecting with customers, even new language to better describe what's really going on. And in my experience, there's not enough deep thinking going on. There's not enough time and attention spent searching for the immutable truths that underpin natural sustainability and translating these truths to our complex technological world. There's too much shallow sustainability and flat two-dimensional teaching. In my work, I've uncovered 11 blind spots that are a significant part of the reasons why we're still unsustainable after 35 years of seeking sustainability. So now I help provide cities, businesses, and business organizations with new multidimensional roadmaps, with new digital matchmaking tools, and new ways to communicate how these new sustainably circular approaches can make and save money while reducing negative impacts and increasing positive beneficial impacts. I've taught the fundamentals of sustainability and what we now call the circular economy all over the world. I just recently returned from a 10 day trip to Colombia, South America, where I worked with four chambers of commerce and local universities in two major cities. And now we're proposing a major program of capacity building and implementation to leapfrog the failing conventional approaches of the past. If like me, you're beginning to realize that the conventional approaches to unsustainability are insufficient. And if you also realize your conventional sustainability roadmap is the equivalent of a 15th century map of the world, misleading you as you navigate the world, you realize you need a new multidimensional, sustainably circular map to guide your journey. I'm inviting you today to apply for a free 30 minute strategy session with me. We can talk about what you're doing now and ways in which you can achieve more sustainably circular solutions in your business. Go to circulareconomy.expert to apply.